the Academic and Student Affairs Committee met. We have, uh, in cooperation with Senator Nevers and some uh, legislation he has proposed, uh, we've got 30 new programs that are going to be the articulation between our various campuses uh, have been uh, further refined. Uh, we've made great strides, meaning all of higher ed, uh, in the past, uh, in the recent past, in the articulation between campuses, uh, better uh, nomenclature about what is English 101 should be English 101 regardless of where it's taught in the state of Louisiana. And they should work this out so that a student who maybe be place bound the first year of their academic life, uh, then they are able to move that they don't get uh, shut out when they move to another campus. Uh, based on all the wrong things. So that's a, that's a plus. This is an ongoing process. Today was a good step, another step. I'm mean, not a good step, not, certainly not first step. Uh, but it's something we're very excited about. It's our job as coordinating that. It's our job to make the campuses aware that they must uh, provide through us uh, the opportunity, an articulation agreements that would allow students uh, access and mobility. And how this is going to help students in terms of uh, maybe increasing graduation rates? Well, I think it means that if for whatever the particular circumstance of the student, if they took it one other place or they, and then they move to come to another or they don't uh, transfer from our community and technical colleges, let's say they want to go on four-year schools, which we hope they all do, but they know they get credit for the coursework that they completed in their prior two years before they moved to one of our four-year campuses. And that's going to affect our graduation rates. What did the board do regarding a search for a new commissioner of higher education? Well, today, uh, Dr. Lazell made a report to the, to the group that uh, we're, it's, it's uh, moving forward at the pace. Uh, sometimes these are glacial, great, glacially slow uh, just by nature. But we're going forward. We've got the... Uh, I will approve this afternoon the uh, first advertisement that will go out and be circulated through higher ed uh, media. Uh, then we will have an absolute timeline that will be established. And when I say absolute timeline, dates for reports from our search committee, which will begin in, in August. And then we'll have a hoped for schedule. Uh, there are a lot of things that are at play in our search uh, that may alter uh, this calendar. Uh, but at the moment, we're progressing as planned. What is the role of the Commissioner of Higher Education in Louisiana? <laughs> it's to oversee the actions of this board, which is uh, the coordination of all higher ed in the state of Louisiana. Uh, it promulgates all of the money that comes from the legislature. Uh, just the management factor is uh, extraordinary. You've got a rather large uh, uh, employment base. Uh, it's smaller than it used to be, but it's still a large piece of business with a payroll. Uh, but then it's the all of the data, the repository of all the data of all of higher education in Louisiana is here. Uh, this person will be responsible for the leadership of management of that. Uh, it should be, will be the leader in the legislative activity, liaison with the executive branch. And go back to the word coordination. It, uh, this person will be responsible for determining uh, and revising the master plan for all of higher education. It's changing now, and the master plan is going to change uh, in the near term with our workforce needs. Uh, it's going to change what, what is taught. It's going to change how many different courses. There'll be certain things that are more important to our economic needs than others, and uh, that's where the WISE plan comes. This, this, uh, the commissioner will be one of <coughs> the five people representing academia on the WISE Council. Uh, then this person will be the uh, professional in charge of the board that will approve everything that goes on with the WISE Council. It's an extraordinary position. It's most important, and we hope and we believe we'll find uh, an exceptional person and personality. He or she needs to be a transformational type. Uh, they must be analytically uh, uh, sensitive. They must be data driven, but they must uh, be a uh, communicator because they have a number of people they must communicate with on a regular basis.